Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get into this, I'm going to put the comment of the day up. If you guys want to take part in that, all you have to do is leave a comment and I randomly choose them for my new notifications. So we're exploring Tokyo Seuss some more because you guys really enjoyed that video. I was honestly surprised at um, how much you guys love that video. So I thought it would be fun to kind of explore again. I was not able to save the last time. So unfortunately, Mr. Toxic is not in our friendship panel, but I did send him a love letter, not a love letter, a dating profile um, message. There we go. That's what we did. Uh, but you know, we did introduce ourselves to some Sims and stuff. So we're just kind of going to work and we were late. We were late and we literally like, how the hell are we late when we live right behind the building? How the hell do you get fired on your day off? Like, I'm just trying to figure out how we were late considering we live right behind this building or right in front of this building. But she is going to work. I have story progression on just in case uh, Kai possibly pops up in the, you know, little thing up here and we can find him. Although I did find out where he lives because I was trying to introduce ourselves to him and get back to where we were. And I found out he lives in this house right here. I don't know if he's home. He has a pretty cute home. He looks like he must own a boat. Um, let me see here. So he's out at the moment. And this is kind of what happened yesterday when I was trying to get the friendship back up. But yeah, my, my friendship's here. We did go and meet a bunch of people, but we did not find Kai. So I figure when she gets off of work, if she hasn't starved to death because she's super hungry, we will go to... Um, I have to find it. Somebody said if you find the library, like, please tell me. And honestly, I have not found the library yet. I don't know if there is one. Um, but if not, it's fine because there is the one place I can't find. Like, where is it? Oh my gosh, this world is so massive. I am lost in it and I will probably never be able to properly find anything. But there was, is it here? Here? Yeah, the Cybernet and Cafe shop is where I'm gonna have her go when she gets off of work because um, then we can check our online dating messages. And I hope, hope, hope that we get something positive because I will cry if not. Oh my gosh, you guys, Kai just left his job. I forgot that he was in journalism. So he is just now getting off of work and we are still at work for 15 or more minutes, but I might try to see. He's probably gonna go home, but I'm not quite sure. And I might have to turn story progression off because it is lagging it a bit, but I wanna see. Oh my goodness! Bro just got it. Wait a minute, who are you? <laughs> Sorry, I saw the ripped jeans and I'm like, wait a minute. Um, oh, he's paparazzi. We're not interested in, wait, is he driving the limo? He is driving the, you own a limo. Okay, I have to see if I can figure out where he's going because I am definitely going to hopefully <laughs> be able to hang out with him. So I do want to see though, I think he might be going home. It seems like he is heading, yeah, he seems like he's heading home. But I do want her to head to the uh, place and check her messages because I'm curious to see what kind of message he sent. But it does look like he's heading home. Yeah, he is. So let me see what happens in our dating profile message and see if he is like, no, absolutely not. Or if he's going to be into it because I will... I will cry if he's not, but uh, of course I would. He's he's so toxic and I'm like, oh my gosh, I would absolutely cry. Although he was super confusing in the last part of this because he seemed like he was actually a pretty decent person. So I don't know if he lied on his dating profile and he's actually like a big old teddy bear kind of person, but we'll see. Probably not with my luck, but we'll see. All right, I have her coming over to check her online dating. This is a sim we met yesterday uh, whenever I was trying to kind of recreate what, what had happened <laughs> when you guys last saw us. But uh, yeah, things are not loading. It's, it's a massive world, it'll be okay. I just wanna see if he, sent us a terrible message or if he sent us a nice one because I'm hoping for a nice one. I'm really, really hoping for a nice one. Oh, he did. Sounds fun. Count me in. Yes. Yes. I feel like, I feel like he's maybe 
lying on his profile. I don't know why. Like, he just doesn't seem like an evil sim. He just doesn't. Because I feel like he would have sent me a really mean message. Because that's kind of what my experiences were with, like, evil and mean and rude sims. Will you answer your phone, please? Like, my goodness. Who the heck is calling? Oh, of course. Okay. Well, maybe we can give him a little chat. He is a five-star celebrity, so he is, like, pretty important. Uh, maybe we can invite him out. So she's a little bit stressed out, but I'm hoping that now that we're off work and we're not late for work, that we can make this a thing because they were they were pretty good. They were doing pretty good before my game decided to not save, but we love an error code 12. We truly do. Uh, <laughs> but we're going to see how this conversation goes. What does she want to do? She wants to learn his sign, which I'm hoping we can because uh, I don't remember. I know we did all of that. I just remember he's in journalism. Once I saw him, I'm like, yeah, forgot he was in journalism. I should have watched that video back. But we are just going to get to know him and chat with him and hopefully... Where could we go? Where can we go? There is the arcade next door. Uh, I'm trying to see. Okay, where is he at? I get so backwards with this massive world. Maybe we can invite him to this club? Because that's pretty close to his house. So maybe he would want to go to this club. That might be what we are going to do. But I'm going to see how their conversation goes. Uh, but this guy was pretty decent as well. I, I think he's kind of cute too. Uh, but I just apparently have a thing for very toxic men. So he decided that he won't meet us at the club. So that is pretty exciting. Hopefully we will be able to have a pretty decent time. He's like, can you get out of my way? Because I want to put this book away. Uh, but <laughs> there we go. There we go. Where are your shoes, bro? He's walking into businesses with no shoes on. All right. So I think we are arriving. And I think that's Kai right over there. And also an alien, which I absolutely love. But... Was he, was he an Aries? Why do I feel like he was an Aries? Um, we're gonna see what just happens here. Cause I wanna see if they get the, get to know. Yeah, they do, okay. So let's see if this is good or bad. I need her to change, oh, we're not gonna get to know each other. Change out of your outfit and change into your everyday. And, oh wait, they are. Maybe, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what they're doing, but um, I'm hoping that it will go okay. Let's change him out of his work clothes as well and get him into his everyday outfit. There he is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's ask about your career. You are definitely in journalism now that I remember that. So let's see. Hopefully this, hopefully this is good. <laughs> I'm so, like, worried it's going to go bad. But it wasn't really good last time. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we're, we're good. Oh, okay. So he was, like, he's into it. Well, I mean, he didn't hate us and tell us that we don't look like our photo. So we love that. We're going to ask his sign. I don't know why I feel like he was an Aries. But I'm not sure. Let's see. All right. So he's editor-in-chief in journalism. Okay. Let's see. What is your sign? That is, that is a question. She is curious about it. He is a hopeless romantic. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's a Capricorn? Why did I think he was an Aries? Probably because I hate Aries. Um, well, not all of them. I don't know. Anyways, we're just gonna keep going. Uh, let's get to know him and see kind of how this goes. And maybe we can go grab a drink. So is he single? Okay, he's still single. Love to see that. Also, I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to get in here because we're not a celebrity. Can we go through these doors? Can we, can we? Oh, Bride of Frankenstein, girl. Can we bribe you to go in? Like, we might not actually be able to enjoy our time here. Uh, so he's a hopeless romantic and is that, was that, was that on his profile? Oh God, I need to go back and look. I am so bad at this. I just need to know if he's evil. So that's, that's really the question here. Are you an evil, mean-spirited, toxic man? Or what's, what's the situation? He seems pretty, okay, charismatic. He seems pretty okay. Like, he don't seem so bad. 
<laughs> Maybe it's just me trying to talk myself out of uh, him being a horrible person. All right, so we figured out where he went to or what his alma mater was, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get into this bar because they're definitely not going to... They're just not going to let me. So I'm going to ask to get in, even though I know the Bride of Frankenstein is going to tell me, like, absolutely not. Uh, but I would like to have a good night with him and figure out what else um, is going on with him. But it is super late. Oh, my God. It is three in the morning, but we're just going to go for so it. So it's kind of funny. She actually is going to let me in. She said, don't let me stop you. So can we buy a round of drinks or actually no, buy... Offer order drink for group. There we go. Uh, let's get the fan fizz. Although I don't know if he is going to show up in here. This probably is going to close so soon. I can imagine that once we get the drink, it's going to close and that's going to be great, isn't it? Uh, have a drink is what she wants to do, but yeah. There we go. It's closed. Closing time. I should have known. Where did Kai go? So it is 5.37 in the morning and we were coming back to her place and we're going to get to know him again. It just popped up. I hope we don't get like a negative thing because I thought we were doing pretty good with this, but this might not go good. I'm really worried. I'm so scared. Like, why am I so worried about this? It seems like it's good, but I, I'm so worried we're going to ruin this. I'm definitely going to have to cheat her needs or she is going to be dead at work. Um, he See? Something... So I'm telling you, let's compliment his appearance, okay? Let's see what happens if we... Oh, we're friends now. Let's see if we just toss in a flirt. I just want to see how he, how he takes it, if he's into it or if he's going to be like, oh, he's into it. Okay. All right. So, oh, and here we go. <laughs> she wants... Mm -hmm. We're just going to... We're gonna just gonna we're just gonna do this. We're gonna flirt with him, maybe. And we might have to cheat her needs because girl, we're having a moment here. We're having an absolute moment, and he is literally feeling it. Like he is here for this moment. Compliment his personality. And maybe give him a Morris hug. That might be too much. I might have gone too far with the hug, but I'm still going to continue with it because I don't care. He's so into it. He thinks we're being flirty. So let's see. I don't care who's... You just have the baby and go away. Uh, okay. What are we doing here? Oh my gosh. He's into it. <gasps> okay. He thinks we're being alluring. You guys, this could turn really interesting. Ooh, she went, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, let's just go. Let's just go all in. All right. We're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. Let's go ahead and confess our attraction and, and do the first kiss, girl. What are we, are we, is it, are we doing this? Are we doing this? She wants to have a great day with him. Uh, she also wants to eat at a restaurant. Um, and um, yeah, this is happening. <laughs> it's happening. He's a great kisser. Okay, okay, okay. So we haven't figured out if he is evil or mean-spirited, which I feel like that's, I just, oh, okay. You know what we're going to do? <laughs> don't even, don't even, don't, okay? Just don't. In the comments, just don't. Let's first of all fix her mood. We're going to cheat her mood and you know what we're going to do, okay? We're just going to go and we're going to max out her motives because she does have to go to work, but we also, we also, <laughs> we're going to risk you with okay? You guys already know. You know how I play the game, all right? Like, you just already knew what the next step was. And, you know, we, we might be really just... Oh, maybe, you know what? Hold on. I can't possibly let his needs be terrible either. So, Max Motives. He's got to have some food in his stomach. He's got to be awake. And he's got to be into it fully. So, <laughs> that's just ruin our life more than likely all right guys we are finally making our way upstairs to um <laughs> risky woohoo and probably maybe not regret it i mean who really knows who really knows let's just go for it because you know why the heck not so here we go with our risky woohoo <laughs> A risky woohoo. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, sit down. We are not done here. Uh, after this, you can you can go on your merry way, but I still need to figure out two other traits uh, because I'm genuinely curious if he is Mr. Toxic or if he is 
just lying for some reason because apparently women like toxic men. So, <laughs> okay. Are we good? Are we Gucci? Are we going to say goodbye? Probably not. Um, he is definitely, yeah, there we go. We woohooed for the first time. We're romantic interest. Should I check and see if she's pregnant? I mean, yeah, I'm going to. She was into it. I mean, she clearly had a great time. So, um, let me just tell me if she's not. Okay, she's not pregnant. She's not pregnant. So it wasn't so bad. So maybe we should just be like, you know, we're going to see you later because I have work in three hours. <laughs> we have work in three hours. We have to figure out, like, I honestly, how do we figure out if, he, if he's mean? Just when he's mean to us? Like, I don't know. I, I don't get it. But you and me sitting in a tree. Oh gosh, did I say that out loud? I mean, what a fun date. Uh, don't mind me. I don't understand how this man could be toxic. <laughs> Maybe that's my problem. But he seems like he's a great guy. Oh man, we could really regret saying this, but I am going to wrap this up right here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you <laughs> subscribe. If you guys want to see more, definitely let me know in the comments down below. You seem to really enjoy the first part, so hopefully you want to see more because honestly, I need to know. Is he really toxic? Is he really mean? Let me know. Okay, bye!